Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Dazzle That Tarot, and I'm back for another tarot reading, okay? So, first of all, I had just finished on the Will, the Will Smith Smacks um, Chris Rock reading, right? But it made me want to look at Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith marriage and how it is at the moment. Because, like I told you, I feel like they're fighting. They're fighting for their marriage. They're fighting for the respect of their marriage. They're fighting for, they're, they're even fighting each other. They're not playing. Like, this is real, right? This is, this is real. And what happened was I was um doing the reading, and then in the middle of the reading, I get this phone call from my husband because I had to do something. And I'm like, oh, okay. So now I have to redo this because I'm not doing no editing or whatever like that. I'm not like that. All this is already out, right? So I'm going to just go ahead and tell you, pick it up, and tell you what I had gotten in the reading that I had to scrap and redo as in like right now, right? So anywho, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you can become notified about when I upload and when I go live. Also, you know what I do here. You know, I do readings, tarot readings, pick a card readings, celebrity readings, all types of readings just to join new people because I have been blessed with having clients and I love my clients and I want new clients as well. So go in the description box and get your reading done, okay? All the information is down there, right? And everything I do is alleged and for entertainment purposes, you know, all that good stuff. So let's get into the Will and Jada thing. So the first thing I did was I wanted to see how they were feeling about each other. Like what would they say to each other, right? And you know, I pulled all these cards for Will. And I was using the In the Shadows Oracle cards. Okay. I like this deck in the shadows. And the first thing I said I said was, Well, what would Will like to tell Jada if he could? All right. I love myself enough to walk away. At some point in time, Will Smith wanted to walk away from this connection. Okay? Because he had to pick her or himself. And you know, it's one you know when you say things like that, that means that you're in a toxic situation. And it's either I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna lose myself and I'm gonna just keep getting stabbed in the heart in the back and stuff. Or, I walk away and I care about my sanity. I care about what's best for me and what I want. I feel like at some point, Will Smith felt like that. And But he said, I hope I will see you again some, uh, sometime. So, that may not be exactly what he was saying. But what he was saying was, um, I want this relationship. That's conducive of that. I want you to still be around. I want this marriage. I, I want you to still be around. I'm used to you. Right? So, this is, I hope you're happy. As in, like, currently, right now, like, they're trying to make it work. And he wants her to be happy with him. You see what I'm saying? I forgive you. Right? He's saying that whatever Jada did that made him feel like he loves himself enough to walk away... He's forgiving her for it. I'm waiting for an apology, though. Because there's some things that she didn't apologize for. And I'm waiting for that. And he said, I know I made a mistake. I know I messed up, too. I know I was doing things that hurt you as well. I know more than you think. As I'm like, Jada was doing a lot of things, and I don't think that she was totally 100 with him about everything, but he knows what she was doing. And I understand you better now. I feel like at one point there was a disconnect. The relationship was off balance at one point. But I feel like because they're back and they're doing their front, their united front, they're fighting. And, they, and he, and you know what I'm saying? Like, he had to, he had to put the shoe on the other foot. He had to literally like sit there and listen to his wife and listen to what she's saying and what she's not saying as well. So I feel like there's a come to Jesus moment for them. You know what I'm saying? Like this is us. This is our family. This is what's real moment. Okay. 
So then I got something for a few cards for Jada, too. And that's the Hidden Truth article. What would she tell him? The Hidden Truth article. They're brother and sister decks, right? <laughs> okay, so, yeah. So, the first one I got was, I knew exactly what I was doing. As in, like, the stuff that <laughs> Jada was doing when she was out here in her entanglements and stuff. She knew what she was doing. Or oh, when she probably said that, oh, like, any time, like, they can have some separation time and things like that. She knew what she was doing. She was playing with her marriage. She knew exactly what she was doing. She wanted her cake and eat it, too. That's what it was. I wish things could be different. Like, if we can do a redo, I probably wouldn't have did all that. You know what I'm saying? I wish things could be different. Because look how it hurt us. I had behind material things. You know what's crazy? And I don't even want to talk about her alopecia and stuff like that because that is real. That's a disease. But the here it is I have behind material things. And now, like, you are technically being made bare from alopecia on a spiritual level. It's like there is no way to hide anymore spiritually because you know you can hide behind your hair. You know what I'm saying? You got thick hair, you can put it in your face, the second, third. I feel like. You know, it's being laid bare, being renewed in a way. You know, going through an ego death. You know, you can't hide behind certain stuff no more. You have to be you, right? And this is, this is interesting to me. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes to her and her husband and their marriage... It hits hard because, first of all, they're spiritually connected. You know what I'm saying? So, they're going through stuff and atoning for stuff and having to come clean with each other and look each other in the eye and be real. And with her, she has behind stuff. So, the metaphysical is turned into the physical. So, it's actually presenting yourself in that way. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Of course she did something that really, at at some point, how she was, at some point, it was really about to ruin this marriage. It was not going to be a marriage. Like, she was going to lose her soulmate. We will be together again. As in, they're back together. So when I get something like that, it's basically, we're, we're not going nowhere. But at one point, she did go somewhere. And now she's back. She hid behind everything, and now she's back. But now she's saying, I am not available. As in, like, you're still trying to hide behind stuff. Or you're, or you're still trying to sugarcoat stuff. And you have to be a little bit more open. If you really want this to work. And I love you. There is love there. They love each other. All them kids. All them years. Together. They're more than just whatever. They're friends too. You see what I'm saying? It's more than just that. So. Just being near you is intoxicating. She's still in love with Will. She is. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. Oh, they went on a spiritual journey together, huh? They really did. And I think that's something that Jada would say. So I feel like it's a lot of stuff that they got going on that's a little bit. Look. Now it's like they're fighting. They're fighting for their merch. They're fighting for a lot of things. And they even they even go like this on certain days. Um I also pulled some Allen Time Wellness love oracle cards and the first one i got is not today not dealing hurt avoiding the conversation slash call slash person boundaries still angry there's still friction here you know what i'm saying but jada isn't saying everything and will is waiting on her to say everything and will is still hurt and jada know that he that she hurt him okay not enough. Frustrated 
in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear and ego issues, and jealousy. So that's all that that's going on. Not enough. So it's not what they. Somebody feels like it's this. This marriage is not what they thought it would be. That all they feel like they don't have the confidence to fix it. And the self sabotage came in. You already seen it. All that entanglement shit. All that mess with other people. That was self sabotage. You want it in your marriage? Mess with other people. <laughs> and put everybody else in your marriage. You know, that's how you end it. Um, people can't apologize or come all the way clean because of the ego there. You will have to admit that you're wrong. And sometimes you can be fearful of admitting that. Admitting that there's a problem. You have addiction here. Codependency. Obsession. Possession. Controlling. Has a block. Restraint. Addiction. That's like that devil energy to me. Right? So, here's the thing with this. You can be addicted to a person, place, or thing, sex, whatever. Image. I don't know. But, this talks about their marriage, right? And about the fact that, look, this is a situation where somebody's doing destructive behaviors that's not conducive to their marriage. And they're not admitting that what they do is, is destructive when it comes to their marriage. And they're not willing to see it yet. I think that Will sees it, but I think that Jada does not want to see it. Because she doesn't want to come all the way clean. So there's fear. And then they do rely on each other. That's called dependency, okay? Whatever. But, I mean, it's a marriage. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's contracts. You know what I'm saying? Rings of Saturn type marriage. Like, you see what I'm saying? The double energy type marriage. You know, whatever. Um, Photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Okay, so they do love each other, like I said. And they do miss their marriage. You know, they want to get back where they were within their marriage. You know what I'm saying? And they have histories together. They build a family together. They build a life. They build moments. They build memories. And I feel like the best thing they can do, and I feel like that's what they're trying to do, is create more happy memories. You know what I'm saying? And get back to that happiness that they once had. And then when I did the little tarot card readings on, like, the energy surrounding their marriage, you have the Knight of Cups right here. Somebody's coming in with an offer, an offer of love, an emotional offer. So at this point, I feel like one of them was the bigger person and came in with an emotional offer. This page of wands right here talks about new fire, new, new energy, okay? The potential here for this marriage, for the sparks can come again. And this is clear communication, too. So, it's a good communication card. They're talking, right? Um, the Six of Cups. Somebody is still stuck in the past. They have relationship PTSD or merge PTSD or whatever. But they, they keep thinking about the things that happen. They can't get past it, you know, at some point. You have the Strength card right here. The Strength card is, again, this is um the Not Enough Energy. The lack of confidence in working this marriage out. They might even be self-sabotaging on some end by not admitting and not embracing, you know, healing on some areas. And not just feeling like, or feeling like you can't fight this fight sometimes. So, they have their days. Somebody has their days. The star card tells me that this was a line. They were supposed to meet. They're star-crossed lovers. They're supposed to so that that makes that makes me feel like they were meant for each other. This is this is soul connection, okay? But this star card talks about a wish fulfillment, and you know, being hopeful. They're hopeful, and that's a good thing. That's a positive thing. Renewal. They want to renew themselves, renew their relationship. Jada's actually going through a a spiritual transformation within their relationship and sometimes you have to be laid bare 
you know what I'm saying, to transform. And I think that's what she's doing as well. And that's what Will Smith was doing as well. You know, when they was doing this little hobo tour of entanglement, red table talk and everything else like that, they were giving it all out the way. It was, they just saying, you know, whatever. But now it's like we're laid bare and now we're finding strength within each other. And we have each other's back. It's a renewal of their relationship. Um, with the two of swords, though, the two of swords, sometimes you can be on the fence not knowing how to think or what to do. So you ride the fence, right? And you don't see everything. So at one point, you have one person that believes one thing, one person believes another. And it's like, it's like, should I? And to me, I feel like this. To me, this is her opinion, this is his opinion about what they're going through, and then in the middle you have the intuitiveness right here. So they're trying to rest in the middle to me, that's how I feel, because you have like the moon right here. So I feel like they're just trying to meet in the middle. They're not trying to say you was wrong, or you were wrong, this, that, and the third thing. Because at this point, disagreements, if, if, if I say you did me wrong, we're going to fight. If you say I didn't do you wrong and da da da, da we're gonna we're gonna have this disagreement and this is fighting. You know what I'm saying? This is um being at odds. But I also feel like cause it's gaslighting. You know what? Gaslighting. I feel like at times one person gaslights the other as well because it get like that and this right here is the ten of wands that means that you can gather all your wands and you're bringing them all home but um it can be a burden it can be like you got everything on your back so it could be a burden and it can be the need to delegate um maybe i don't know if they talk to i don't know if they've been talking to like counsel you know what i'm saying like a counselor marriage counselor and things like that but to be honest with you I feel like this cycle for them about other people, you know, having entanglements, I feel like that's over, okay? I think that's over, and I think that, you know, for the most part, they're trying. They're trying to salvage, right? They're trying, and it's hard. It's a hard thing, because you got to go through all those murky waters of what you did and what I did, what I didn't do, what you didn't do, and a whole bunch of things like that. So, with the Six of Pentacles, there's someone that's giving, someone that's giving things, right? And another person receiving, the selflessness. So, in order for this to work, they have to be very selfless, okay? So, that's why you see Will Smith up on stage at the Oscars slapping, you know, Chris Rock and stuff. They have to be selfless. They have to defend them. They have to defend their marriage. You know what I'm saying, to other people, and and they also have to do this battle within them. So it's a lot of things going on. So I'm just give them some love energy, and some healing energy. And I really do like the fact that look, they want to fight for their marriage. They're gonna fight. It's a spiritual fight. Like they're spiritually in battle, <laughs> on some real stuff. It's 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 that. It's um. You know, they they used to be, like, considered the all-time favorite, no-problem-having couple. And now you see them and, you know, all their business is out there and everything. So it's like, that's why they that's why they was in, when, when they was on the red carpet, they was like, oh, there was no infidelity or whatever the case may be. Like, he's saying that. But he's saying that because at the end of the day, you know, at one point they were saying that, but now they just need to be on a united front they don't need all that all that drama all that extra stuff their marriage is really really in repair and they just don't need that whatever they're doing they don't need what we're giving them what the public says about them or oh, what they don't need no shit from nobody okay because they oh. for better or for worse that's what that is Okay, so, um, anyway, love you guys for real. Peace.